So from those alerts that we've collected and displayed in Iron View or another SIM system such as Splunk, we also can integrate with SOAR systems such as uh, Demisto, now known as Cortex X SOAR, Phantom, Swimlane, and do selective responses to alerts, including workflow like analyst assignment, uh, analysis, triage, or even next steps, uh, block or quarantine, for example. So using a SOAR enables consistency in that response, uh, and it can include steps from different parts of workflows. So for example, in the workflow that I have displayed right now, information that we had done earlier in Iron View, such as setting the status of an alert, for example, a waiting review, under review, for example, adding comments, or things like choosing an analyst or rating an incident. So for example, malicious, suspicious, benign, unexpected, expected, adding comments for the dome. All of these parts of the workflow that can be done in Iron View from Iron Defense or from Splunk uh, can also be automated in a source system. But also you can make use of existing playbooks that are in those source systems. For example, within Cortex X SOAR, there is the ability to block an IP address, for example, through Checkpoint Firewall or Palo Alto or Zscaler. So you can take information from Iron Defense alerts if the score is 900 to 1,000 and it's a certain type of alert like credential phishing and others have already rated that alert as malicious via the dome through that collective SOC concept, then go ahead and block or quarantine for a limited amount of time. So the entire workflow can be automated in SOAR from the alert workflow side of things all the way through triaging and adding more context, finally to taking action such as blocking or quarantining as well. And so all this information is available in Iron Defense through a bi-directional API can be brought into your source system, and then you can use the playbooks that are available or we can assist you to build out more.